Oh hey, what's up everybody? So uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker uh, 2 and CalebCreator.com. So I'm sure most of you are asking, oh what is this video about? What, is this a new series or something? Alright, well yeah, actually it is. I decided to start a new series over database design. So I, I did a, a design series a while ago. It was my first video series here on YouTube. Uh, it was about 25 videos long. And then I went on to make a 67 part video series over MySQL. And I did a couple other ones. I have over 100 uh, databasing videos. And I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to try to tackle this again to try to make it better, explain things better, and also bring you to a new level of skill. So what, what level of difficulty is this course going to be? It's going to be for beginners, although the destination is going to be much higher than the destination of my first series. My first database design series, which by the way, if you want to check that out, if you're completely new to things, I will link to that in the description. But that series was for absolute beginners, uh, no experience whatsoever. This series, I'm still going to be treating uh, everyone as if they're beginners working their way up, although it may be just a tad bit more advanced. So if necessary, you can check out that series, and if you want to know how to implement your database design into a database, check out my MySQL series. Both will be linked in the description below. But as for this series, I am going to be talking about all of the topics within my first database design series, and specifically for relational databases. So a relational database is just, um, it separates everything into separate tables. So uh, MySQL is an example of a relational database. Most, most database design is used for relational databases because it's a big process. So why do you want to use a series? Well, if you are, let's say you're just bored, like which I don't even know why you're here, but if that's the case, this series will be awesome because databasing design is fun. Database design, I should say. And uh, it's going to be interesting. It's kind of like a puzzle, which I know some of you hate puzzles, but it'll, it'll be fun, just trust me, <laughs> guys, it'll be f sweet. All right, so the second thing is if you're just in general IT or uh, computer science, well, knowing database will set you apart from a lot of people because a lot of people blow it off like it's not that big of a deal when in reality most platforms programs applications rely on a back-end database that's how we store information in this world everything we do is powered by a database so it's important that you know how to properly implement database concepts designs to know how to properly structure data so that way you get the best optimized database. That will set you apart from the rest of the IT team or the rest of your classmates. It will give you the skills needed to get that job or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, also, if you're just a business person or you have your own project and you need to learn how to build a website or you need a database to store all the information you're using, well, this series will be helpful. Third thing is if you are interested in being a database administrator, which is where you want to do databasing for a living, well then this series is going to be like heaven because everything in the series you're going to need to know, and you'll, you'll need to know more than that, but this series will be the start of a lot. All right, so from there, what was I going to say? Oh, shoot, I don't know. Anyways, um, basically, database design is the fundamentals of databases. You should know how to properly structure data. Um, this series is not going to be very specific on a, spe on a uh, certain database management system. So this isn't like MySQL database design. This isn't like Oracle. This isn't SQL Server. This isn't whatever else you use. This is going to be general database design, so then you can take these skills and apply them to any of the databases that you are working on that are relational, which, I mean, through this series, you will, you will really understand what that means if you don't get that. All right, so uh, I don't want to ramble on, but I do just want to explain some things about what the series will consist of. Basically, we'll start explaining the database concepts using this sweet, legit new chalkboard, which is awesome. Yeah, got it at a yard sale for like, it was like 15 bucks, and I bargained it down to 10 it's awesome. Except it doesn't have a stand, seriously. I'm like balancing it on a bunch of books right now. <laughs> Anyways, what, what was I saying? Alright, so, oh, I'm all red. 
So the first part is going to be a lot of the concepts on the chalkboard, and I'm not going to like write tons of scripts on here, so don't worry, it's not going to be confusing to where you can't see the code on a screen. Because in reality, a lot of database design is not done on a computer first. First you have to think about it, and then you kind of just draw out your plans, whether it be in your head or on a document, or if you use a database design program. I use a chalkboard because I can easily draw out concepts, thoughts, way, the way data is connected, and all of that. So a lot of these databasing uh, videos, they're going to be on this chalkboard because that's all you really need. We're not, we're not programming a database, we're designing a database. And designing is art. You draw it, you design it. After we go through a lot of the concepts is when we will be going into specific examples where we will be going on the computer using a design program to teach how to uh, put that in a computer program for a uh, visual schema of your database. So I'm not sure what program we'll use, maybe MySQL Workbench, but whatever it is, a lot of the programs will be universal no matter what um, relational database management system you use. So a lot of the concepts from this video will be useful no matter what uh, you will be using for your database. So not only will you get the concepts out here on this chalkboard, but you will get real uh, practical use of programs on the computer where you will get your training. So we have education, computer training. Um, basically the whole series where we're on the chalkboard, you can kind of just watch whichever video you need if necessary. I do recommend you watch all the way from the beginning to the end, but if you just need to know about like primary keys or uh, candidate keys or whatever it is, you can just check out that video. Now when we go on to the computer screen, that's when we'll be kind of going through practical examples. And it's kind of confusing to jump in right in the middle. So if you want to just, uh, if you want to watch the on-screen videos, I'd recommend you start from the very first on-screen video and they'll all kind of be in a row. So yeah, uh, this series compared to the last will have more content, uh, better content, more in-depth content, better explained content. I've taken a lot of the suggestions from my previous series, implemented them into this series, and it's going to be awesome. From this series, once you understand the database concepts is when you apply it to a specific database management system. So I made a series over MySQL. That is a relational database management system. That's how we create our database. That's how we manage it. Well, a lot of the design concepts, I apply to that. And then when I program with MySQL, I understand what I'm doing. It's a lot better. So after the series, um, a lot of the stuff in this series will be kind of almost like the design concepts will be useful. But once we get into the very specific differences between relational database management systems. It's going to be a lot of conceptual stuff because I can't really implement every single uh, relational database management system in this series because it'd be like a million videos long. So it's more important to get the ideas and the concepts behind why we do things and then you can apply those to whatever relational database management system there is. Rather than learning, oh, MySQL database design, you just learn database design in general, you can apply that anywhere. If you want more complimentary material, check out my website, calebcurry.com, and then you can go forward slash blogs is the current URL. I'll put that link in the description as well. That is going to have blogs that actually has this content in textual pictorial form where you can, you know, like, read it and stuff, if that's what you're into, which, I mean, why would you read it when you can watch it? I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you want to read, go check that out. The other thing is, I really, really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and as you go through this series, click like on my videos. Uh, when you get to the first video, be sure to share that to your friends to get more uh, views and feedback for me to improve upon further. So yeah, I don't really have much else to say, except for the fact that this series is going to be a blast, and I'm excited. Like, super excited. Especially with this awesome new chalkboard. Like, seriously. It's awesome. Alright, so yeah. Starting in video one, I'm not going to be explaining a whole bunch of the background crap. That's why I just made this introduction video. That way, those of you who care can watch, and those of you who don't care, you don't have to watch. 
So video one, we're just going to kind of jump right into things. And from there, I was just going to try and keep it simple, stupid, and make things easy to understand. And I'm going to try to make things as correct as possible. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment on the video. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment on the video. And if you like the video, click like and subscribe. That's all that I ask of you, and um, share it with your friends. So yeah, thanks once again. It's Caleb. That's my name. So for future reference, I'm probably going to say that in every single video because, I don't know, it's kind of habit now. Hey, what's up? It's Caleb. All right, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.